Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. <laughs> What's going on with y'all, man? Good morning. Um, make sure you guys go to Seattle. No, Seahawks Jose Rodriguez tonight. All right. Shout out to King Magnus, man, for coming through, man. Shout out to Bama. You know what I'm saying? For um, showing the page love. Shout out to Soavi. Shout, shout out to everybody who's come by and shown love to the page, you dig? And continuing to want the page to flourish, man. You guys are big help. Football all day has been a very great success. It's something I created because I wanted everybody to feel like it's like it's like Sunday with your family. Y'all barbecuing or whether you're fixing dinner and you're chilling, talking trash about the game. You got everybody who's basically a, 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 who likes this team, likes that team. So, you know, we just run here, man, kicking it off. Now, Raja Bell, oh, make sure you subscribe to Scrub Zero, who did it this time, Carcino for Life, one, and One Crack News and Screen Fiend. Um, shout out to Kwame Brown Bus Life, um, Self Talk. Them guys who roll with um scene over there, Ticket TV. You know what I'm saying? We got, oh yeah, Aquamur. Make sure you go to Aquamur. Aquamur, love them. And shout out to Organically Powered Life. Organically Powered Life was with me when I was at 50 some subs or, or smaller. And every day he used to come and give me praise and always uplift me. That brother's cool. So. Rajah Bell goes off on Kyrie Irving's entitled and obnoxious attitude. It seems the Brooklyn Nets are coming to terms with the fact that Kyrie Irving will not be available for home games. As Basketball News analyzed, Steve Nash acknowledged that Brooklyn is going to miss the star guard due to his vaccination status. The only good news the Nets got was that Kyrie could practice with the team in their practice facility, but can't play in Barclays Center. To no one's surprise, rumors of Nets trading Kyrie came up. For a team that has a championship or bust season ahead of them, not having their $35 million guard is an issue. Even if you have Harden and Durant on the team, while the front office seems adamant they will work with Kyrie around the issue, we know who has the final say. The only time we've heard that Nets owner Joseph Tsai stepped in was when Kyrie took an announced and unexplained break in the middle of the season. According to reports, that was a bridge too far for the Nets owner who made it clear such behavior is unacceptable. That's why Kyrie apologized to the team and staff for going AWOL. Now his max player will have a significant negative impact on the team chances to win the Larry O'Brien trophy by making a choice Joseph Tsai is not okay with. Kyrie talks about it as a sort of personal choice issue, which I respect, but we all need to forget that our goal, what is our goal this year? What's our purpose this year? It's very, very clear when a championship and a championship team needs to have everybody pulling in the same direction. So I hope to see Kyrie play fully and win a championship together with everybody else, with all his teammates. I'm a total believer in having that in the fact that the vaccine actually protects you from getting sick, getting real sick. Now, the other thing is, I also believe that taking the vaccine is also a social good. It's just part of social responsibility because you're not only protecting yourself, but you're protecting other people. Don't underestimate the social responsibility part of it. It's not just about yourself. It's about protecting the people around you. So that's kind of my view of the vaccine, Joseph Tsai, New York Post. As we covered, Kyrie made it known that if the Nets somehow managed to trade him, Irvin would seriously consider retiring. So while this public comment from his boss was a shot across Kyrie's bow, seems like he didn't change course as it became known that then 10% of unvaccinated players used the MBPA Players Union to get a lot of precautions and measures removed or at least significantly reduced. Rajah Bell wasn't diplomatic about that attempt. The 10%, not only are they railing against getting their vaccination, but then they also want all the mandated testing and precautions and protocols lifted and changed so they're not inconvenienced. I find that really entitled and obnoxious. Raja Bell, the real ones. As a former NBA player, Bell said he doesn't find surprising NBA players, and particularly NBA stars, 
think everything revolves around them. The hundreds of teams and arena employees work hard so the players can show up and play. Everything in the workers' lives and careers optimized to the players' liking. The vaccination expectations and COVID protocols are an egalitarian situation, something NBA players are not used to. Even if you don't want to get the shot for yourself, you can't show up. You can't show up for work because your choice significantly impacts everyone around you. Suddenly, Kyrie's team status is on the line as he has to make a choice he doesn't like because of the impact it could have on an usher, a ball boy, or a security guard. Bell made it clear that players hearing no and having to do something they don't like is definitely a part of the resistance, but not the only reason why. A lot of guys... Hold on. My bad, man. Forgot my glasses. A lot of guys in the camp of 10% of NBAers that are your typical conspiracy theories people, Kyrie being front and center. Rajah Bell, the real ones. At the start of the training camp, all reporting was going in the line of, in the end, KD will convince Kyrie to get the shot. Most players that do cave would do it because of the peer pressure from the locker room, a sense of duty to show up for their team and teammates. But if there's one guy who's made it clear his life outside of basketball, and his convictions are more important than the game, it's Kyrie Irving. The fat Kyrie, Ir the fat Irving already earned over $150 million in his career doesn't hurt as well. We're all focused on the Daryl Morley, Daryl Morey versus Ben Simmons standoff and the impact it has on the entire NBA landscape. The Kyrie Irving versus Net slash Joseph Tsai. One is equally fascinating and impactful in the NBA as things stands. The Simmons one could be resolved sooner than the Irving one. Now, Raja Bell. First of all, I am so sick and tired of these bench warmers slash role players coming out talking about a superstar. America was supposed to be the land of the free, right? You guys... You guys tell me that all the time. Land of the free, you're free to do nothing. It ain't no damn land of the free. I ain't believe that shit. When I was a kid, I ain't believe that bullshit. Because I used to ask my dad, God rest his soul. Pops, why is it the land of the free when we got to pay for everything? And my pops would be like, well, son, we're free to do what we want. We're free to either pay and stay in a house or stay, you know, in a car, be employed, make your money. Or you can just say F paying anything and just be able to live on the street. Now they're taking that away from um, homeless men and women. They can't even sleep on the street no more. <laughs> it's crazy. But the thing is this, Rajah Bell saying is obnoxious and singling out Kyrie Irving. 
There's other guys that aren't vaccinated either. The narrative is him versus the Nets. Listen, if the Nets trade Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant's not going to play a game with them. He's leaving as soon as he can. He's going to demand a trade in the offseason. And he don't care because that's his role, dog. That's who he picked to come over here. My thing is this. LeBron, he's all last year, never gave reason that he took the vaccine. Now, all of a sudden, he took it, which I don't believe, which I think is that that's all allegedly. Um, This is allegedly, by the way. I also don't believe that I believe the league does not like Kyrie Irving because Kyrie Irving does what he likes to do. And he's a deep thinker. And there's nothing wrong with being a deep thinker. The problem is, is that people feel that somebody has to do what they want to do or do as they're safe. No, he look, he's employed by you guys, but he still has a right. He still has a right to go to work without having to take the vaccine. Why does he need to take it? Like, what is the what is the issue of him having to take it? Why is everyone being forced to take a vaccine? If some people don't want to take the vaccine and they deal up and they deal with the um, consequences, that's on them. But see, people who take the vaccine, they're getting bad reactions by it, which is normal. Because when you come out with a vaccine that hasn't been, that hasn't gone through the full trial stage, you're going to have a lot of people hurting. We're basically the guinea pigs. They're forcing the vaccine mainly on black Americans. They want us to be the guinea pig. So if a lot of us die, then they could go back, re, um, re-scramble it, do something with how they do it, make it different, and then give it to the white community or those who are rich. But the poor, they're going to test it on to see if it hurts the poor. And then if it does, they just give it to the, they give, they, they give, they take all the bad stuff out, they put in it and then give it to the rich. We've always been guinea pigs, black, um, Spanish, whoever's poor, they're going to be treated that way. Now, the thing is this, Rajah Bell, I'm tired of this guy talking. Look, your career was not great. Now, are you better than the average person? Yes, we're not talking about that. We're talking about NBA status. Raja Bell always speaks his mind. Don't have a problem with him speaking his mind. But I get tired of these role players feeling they're entitled and obnoxious, which he's being, <laughs> that they can speak on everybody else's who are superstar status when the superstars have made it clear about them having religious beliefs or you had some people who got sick from taking the vaccine, a family member. You don't know what this vaccine could do. It could have an allergic reaction to somebody. This is why I tell people, stop being sheep. Kyrie Irving is public enemy number one. They're going to do everything in their power to make him number one, um, make him the number one scapegoat. They want to make him the face of being unvaccinated and being the first face to be let go of the NBA. If they let Kyrie Irving go, the NBA is going to have a shit storm. They are. They're going to have a shit storm. It's going to be terrible. So, they're trying to pressure the Nets front office to get rid of Kyrie. That's why they're talking about trade, trade, trade. It's getting put in your head so you feel like Kyrie's a problem. <clears throat> this is what they do. This is what they continue to do. This is what they always do, which is spew, which is change a narrative. Change a narrative and make it. Change a narrative. Let's hear it again. Change a narrative to make it seem like they're the wrong people, that the people like Kyrie and them are the wrong, and they're not. They're not in the wrong. They are doing this because they do not want to take this vaccine and end up hurting them or messing them up. And Kyrie Irving, Kyrie Irving is, how do I say, he's, he's basically public enemy number one. All the media outlets are coming down on him. They want to pick on Kyrie because people are stupid. People are dumb. People are very much sheep. 
So, to me, Rajah Bell is out of line. To me, dog, <laughs> you are a role player slash bench player. Kyrie Irving has a right to not take the vaccine. Freedom of speech. What happened to that? Oh, it don't exist no more. So, thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this. Um, hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you guys love what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash app and me at the word welcome, the number two, and an HDII TV. Thank you all for listening. And we out. Oh, RNS35, you're going to hear what happened after the stream. We had a football all day with me, King Magnus, Q Lee. You're going to be entertained. We talk about some deep stuff. So make sure you guys show up for it. It's probably going to be either tonight or tomorrow, but I'm working on that. You guys are going to enjoy it. Thank you guys for your support. Shout out to Bama, man, for the donation, man. You've always been a supporter of this page. I appreciate it. Shout out to Vernon. So I'll be loved. Um, everybody who's um, donated, D.I. underscore, she does, a, she does a great job um, in everything, thinking highly, thank you, whenever you come by, organically power life, man, much love to you, man, now we're out, DZ.